Can people with diabetes consume grapes? This is a question I receive very often and in this week's video we will evaluate the nutritional table and tell you whether or not you, who have been diagnosed with diabetes, may be consuming this type of product. So enjoy. Watch until the end, because I'm sure you'll leave here learning more and more. And in the episode of Who Has Diabetes, this week we are going to evaluate this little friend of ours here, the seedless Victoria grape, which is the grape we are going to evaluate today, so that you can understand once and for all whether you can consume or not this type of product. So, for you to understand in a more didactic way, in a more illustrative way, I weighed this bunch of grapes that we have around 100 grams of seedless Victoria grapes. Here in this bunch that I used to weigh it. It's a digital scale that's very helpful so you can start weighing food in your home. If you haven't bought a digital scale like this yet, I'll leave the link here so you can buy it. And this makes it easier for you to understand how much food you consume and what glucose result this amount of food you consume in your daily life can impact positively or negatively on your treatment. It's super important that you have a scale like this at home. It's not expensive. It really helps and will help your understanding when you start evaluating nutritional tables and checking what amounts you can start consuming in your routine. So let's analyze the nutritional table of seedless Victoria grapes to make it easier to understand. We can verify that in 100 grams of Victoria grapes, which is this bunch here that I showed you, which is a very generous amount of grapes and an amount that really leaves you feeling satiated, we will have around 67 calories in 100 grams of grapes. Victory without seeds we can also verify that in 100 grams of this grape we will have around 17 grams of carbohydrates. That is, 17% of this amount of grape is carbohydrates. So keep this information. We can also verify that in 100 grams we will have 0.63 grams of proteins, and it is a very low amount. That is, it is not a protein and fat food. We will have around 0.35 grams of fat, a very low amount too, which is interesting. We can also check for the presence of fiber, but we will have around 1 gram of fiber and 100 grams of seedless Victoria grapes. So, answering the question I asked at the beginning of the video regarding grape consumption, diabetics can consume grapes, as long as they don't overdo it. So, if you leave an amount like this of 100 grams of grapes to be able to consume, for example, after lunch, after dinner or as a quick snack along with a natural yogurt with a little whey protein, for example, you can consume 100 grams of grapes without any major problems, as long as you consume the skin, as it is a source of fiber. It will facilitate the delay in the absorption of this fructose, this carbohydrate that it has in its composition. And you can include it without any major problems. The big secret is to avoid excesses, so consume a bunch of grapes without any major problems. Once a day. You don't need to eat several times a day. Weigh the amount of grapes you are going to consume. So no more than 100 is an important point and another point. And we've already talked about it here on the channel. But I'm sure you have this question. Edu, since I can consume 100 grams of grapes, I can also drink whole grape juice. The one that comes in a glass bottle is not so interesting. Because in order to make whole grape juice we use a larger volume of grapes to make the juice and we add this juice, that is, we will only have carbohydrates and the proportion the amount of fructose carbohydrate that will be in the grape juice compared to the fruit itself is much greater, that is, it will cause an increase in your blood sugar levels, it will uncontrol your treatment. 
so whole grape juice is not interesting. I will leave here in the description and here in the cards the video where we analyze whole grape juice. Don't forget to watch it. It's worth it so you can understand once and for all how you might be considering whether or not to use this type of product. So, to be able to answer the question, can grapes be consumed without major problems? If it is green grapes, you can also consume them, as long as you do not consume more than 100 grams at any given time during the day. Don't exaggerate the quantities. Start thinking about understanding how you can place food intelligently at smart times and at the right times, so that you can always have a greater variety of foods to give you more health, more quality of life, and so that you don't have to feeling that the diabetic cannot eat anything. Diabetics can eat as long as they learn to eat intelligently, without excesses, without pulse. So it's important that you create this awareness from now on. It is true. And this was the food I chose so we could talk in more depth here on the channel this week. If you want to have a food, a product, a supplement evaluated by me, comment below so that I can add it to my list and later this food can become a video here on the diabetes channel so that you can solve your problem. Doubt and certainly your doubt and the doubt of several other people who have been diagnosed with diabetes, right? If you've been watching so far, it's a sign that you like the content, and if you like the content, be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and also share the channel and diabetes videos for yourself. It doesn't cost nothing, but for us here at the channel and in diabetes, it is of great importance. As YouTube understands that it is relevant content that positively impacts other people's lives and spreads the content to many other people who may need to improve. Is the treatment of diabetes diagnosis correct? Next door I'm going to leave the video about whole grape juice, so go ahead and watch it. Marathon all the videos here on the channel so you can understand how to put together an intelligent menu. A balanced diet that will give you much more quality for your treatment, okay? So we'll stop here. May you all be with God and see you later.